welcome back to the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. I'm Chef Erica, and today we're cooking over a live open fire. This has been a really fun series of videos we've done. We're out here in the backyard in Great Neck, and we have this beautiful fire pit, and we've been doing a lot of fun stuff playing with fire. Now, for today's video, I'm doing a really cool product. This is not something that everybody's familiar with, but it's very chic and very sophisticated, and I love it. It is the marrow bone yum. So marrow is that delicious stuff inside the bones. It's fatty and creamy and just so good. And it's a really elegant thing to serve as a first course, as an appetizer. It's just, it's so great. I love them. And this is a perfect way to serve marrow where it's cut like in this boat shape because it's a lot easier to get it out of the bone. And it also gives you a lot of surface area to get nice and seared. So we're gonna jump right in and do that. So I'm just gonna give these a little bit of salt, of course, a little kosher salt, little teeny bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna cook them right on this flat top griddle that I've got on my open fire. So just like that, I don't really need to use any oil because that's basically what this is, marrow. It's pretty much just fat and you'll see it'll start to melt out in just a sec. Now you can also just roast these in the oven. Just put them in a little roasting pan in a nice hot oven, like 450 degrees. And all we're doing here is cooking this marrow until it kind of firms up and just pulls away from the bone. If we keep going, it's actually gonna melt and disappear. So you wanna be really careful when you cook things like marrow because it's sort of like trying to cook a piece of butter. If you go too long, it's literally gonna melt away. So we're just going to, so we start to see some sizzle there. And let's take a little peek. Oh yeah, looking good. We're getting a little browning. I'll go maybe another 30 seconds to a minute on that. Flip it over, give the other side a little bit of time. And that's it, in the oven, you need to go a little bit longer because you're not using contact heat. So in the oven, I'd probably go maybe seven, eight minutes in a hot oven. Now marrow, it's very rich, it's, it's very delicious. That way you wanna serve it with things that complement it and kind of balance out that richness. So we usually serve it with things that are acidic or fruity to balance that out. And usually something with like a little bit of green. So what I'm serving it with are all these accompaniments that I've got here which are some toast points, so I have something to spread it on. I have a little salad. This is a parsley and radish salad. Very traditional, a parsley salad, very French to go with that. This is some uh, blackcurrant marmalade that we have, and I mixed it with a little bit of vinegar just to make it a little bit more acidic. And then this is just a whole roasted head of garlic because all of those things are delicious with a marrow bone. Okay, let's flip them over. There we go, you see that nice color? The marrow is just starting to cook and melt on the surface. And now I wanna do this other side so that it cooks from the other side through the bones. We're gonna leave it on the second side longer because we need that heat to penetrate up through the bone. So I'm gonna give this a good five minutes on this side on my griddle. Okay, now how do we know when this marrow is done? So I flipped it back over and you can see how the fat is getting very shiny looking and it's starting to melt. And when I press it, it's very soft. Remember, it's like cooking a stick of butter. If you go too far, it melts away to nothing. So we are pretty good to go here. I might just sear the end of this one because it has a nice flat end. Get a little flavor on those ends, but then that's it. We're gonna be ready to go. Cook that marrow until it's not pink anymore and then you know it's done. There we go. And perfect, okay. So I'm gonna just transfer these now to my serving board here. So I'm putting them onto my board. This is a nice way to serve it, just on a wooden cutting board here. So it's traditional when you serve this to serve it with a little extra salt. So you get that little crunch of salt right on top of that delicious fat. And there we have it, our roasted marrow bones with classic accompaniments to go with it. You know, this is an example of a product that we've introduced because we listen to our customers and we listen to their comments and their feedback and we wanna give you what you want. So that's why we have things now like marrow bones because you told us that that's what you want. Also remember that you can check out new videos every Sunday at two o'clock where we'll be making all of our new exciting products. Now I'm gonna taste this. So I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of that rich, delicious marrow, and usually serve it with a special little spoon, like this one. I'm gonna put a little bit on my toast point. 
and I'm going to put a little of that currant jam on there. What's nice about serving it with a few different things is that each bite can be different. You can mix and match. Mmm. I feel like I'm in Paris. It's so good. It's so rich. Mm, and it balances so well with that acidic, fruity marmalade there. This is a great product. Couldn't you see serving this as a first course for Shabbat or for a special occasion, for a holiday? Give everybody one section of that bone and put out a whole array of little accoutrements to go with it. It's really good. This is a really special product. I could eat that entire thing right now, but I won't. So anyway, thanks so much for joining me again today in the Prairie Street Outdoor Culinary Kitchen. I'm Chef Erica. Check us out on Sundays for our new videos. Also remember, we have a new web domain, prairiestreet.co, the place to go for your luxury kosher meat experience. I'm Chef Erica. I'm really happy to be doing these videos for you. We love doing the videos and we wanna feel the love back. So if you wouldn't mind, just click that little like button, share, subscribe, and leave comments on these videos because we really wanna know what you think. All right, enjoy your deluxe kosher meat and I'm gonna go eat my marrow bones. We'll see you again. Subscribe to our channel now and set your notifications so you don't miss our latest recipes and chef-led tutorials. Then head over to prairiestreet.co to shop for your next big meal.